In 354, Augustine was born to a Christian mother and a pagan father. At the age of 11 he was sent to school at Maduro's where he became more familiar with pagan beliefs and practices. At 17 he went to Carthage. Although Augustine's mother raised him as a Christian, he left the church to follow the Manichaean religion. Mani claimed to be an apostle of Jesus Christ. He denied the incarnation, rejected the virgin birth and considered it obscene, teaching instead that Christ was wholly divine. Mani denied that the death and resurrection of Christ played any role in salvation but was simply an example. It was likely here with Manichaeism that Augustine began associating flesh with the eternal evil and the spirit with the eternal good, as Mani taught a dualistic Gnostic cosmology. As a youth Augustine was very promiscuous, living a hedonistic lifestyle. Around the age of 17, he began a love affair with a woman in Carthage that would go on to last 15 years and produce a son. In 385, he ended this relationship to prepare himself to marry a 10-year-old heiress, the legal age of marriage for women was 12. However, a year later Augustine converted to Christianity and took a vow of having decided to become a priest. At the age of 37, Augustine became a priest in the North African town of Hippo and in 395 was made bishop. Between 397 and 400, he began writing Confessions, a 13-volume autobiographical work in which he first began formulating the doctrine of original sin as a means of explaining the sins of his past, as well as his current struggles with celibacy. However, it was not until the early 5th century that he expounded on the doctrine. Not being able to read Greek or Hebrew, Augustine studied a 4th century Latin Bible known as the Vulgate. Due to the translation leaving ambiguity as to a passage's meaning, Augustine fell victim to his bias and assumed his understanding was correct, it was not. He understood Paul to have said Adam in whom all men sinned, rather than because all men sin. This misunderstanding of the passage seemingly affirmed what he had believed, so with this confirmation he began even more to stress how much the original sin in the Garden of Eden had permanently corrupted human nature. Soon after his conversion to Christianity, Augustine rejected his past Manichaean and pagan beliefs. However, as time went on and he wrestled with explaining his desire to sin he came to reject some of the teachings of the Church Fathers and return to his old philosophies and paganism, combining them with Christian passages and themes to support this doctrine of original sin. While he accepted that original sin was not articulated in the Bible, Augustine was convinced that unless his doctrine was accepted, even good Christians would be tempted to seek salvation through holy living and end up in hell. This Augustinian doctrine asserts that everyone is born sinful, that the guilt and condemnation of Adam's sin is transmitted to the entire human race. This results into mankind being stained by sin and possessing an unavoidable appetite for, or propensity for sin, inevitably and helplessly drawn to fulfill its lusts. Further, it asserts that this sinful state is passed on via sexual reproduction. In short, according to the Augustinian doctrine of original sin, due to Adam's rebellion, man has been cursed by God with an imputed bondage of his will, a handicap, a disability, a transmitted disease, an inherited depravity that is unable to resist the temptation to sin. Moreover, Augustine's belief in original sin would go on to have him invent other doctrines in response to it. For instance, he came to view baptism as the means in which we wash off original sin and as such any infant that died before being baptized would go to hell, infant damnation. He also became a proponent of violence and persecution as a means of conversion, since we were condemned against our wills then so too could we be saved against our will. Due in some part to his views on sex he believed that the Virgin Mary conceived as virgin, gave birth as virgin and stayed virgin forever. He even went so far as to claim sex within marriage was sinful unless specifically intended to produce offspring. Utilizing the power of his position and vast influence with the Church and Rome, Augustine would go on to mischaracterize, 
slander and attack those who would disagree with him, all while pushing original sin and its subsequent doctrines. Eventually, the Catholic Church would fully embrace original sin, confirming it at the Council of Carthage in 418, the Council of Ephesus in 431 and the Council of Trent in 1546 and by affirmation of Pope Innocent, 401-417, and Pope Zosimus, 417-418. It also should be noted, Augustine also came up the just war theory the theory to kill those who oppose their eastern doctrines of beliefs. That is why murdering people, by the Catholic Church and John Calvin and many others who accepted this belief felt justified in doing so. So, Augustine said, all men are born with this affliction original sin. That would mean the Son of Man, who was sinless, was born with original sin. I'll finish with his quote from Alfred T. Overstreet. If original sin is true, Jesus was either born sinful, or he was not born as a man, in the flesh.